Okay, so as you may know, X-Plane 11 and X-Plane 10 do not have seasonal textures. However, it is possible to add snow textures and winter textures uh, to X-Plane 10 or 11. So what I'm going to show you right now is how to do that because it's actually not very difficult. Uh, for a while I didn't bother doing it because I thought it's probably very complicated, but with this uh, special generic uh, mod enabler that you can download for free, uh, it's really straightforward. So I've already got it installed, but I'm going to show you how to add it to X-Plane 11, the steps you need to go through approximately. So where do you get the winter package? Well, as you can see, I've got open on my on my screen here, uh, xplane.org. So if you don't know already, this is really a great resource for uh, all kinds of X-Plane uh, downloads and information um, that are free. So you go here, you need to create an account, sign up and so on. And then once you're ready, you can download uh, Winter Package 1.1. So it's under Scenery Enhancement Packs. So it's very straightforward. You just find this file and uh, this folder and you download. Uh, when you log in, you'll see a download option uh, somewhere around here. So once you've downloaded it, you simply extract the folder and you'll see a folder called Winter, um, I believe. Let me just double check what it's called. Yeah, Winter, okay. So then you go, after downloading this, you go to the uh, generic mod enabler, uh, which is somebody, I don't know who created it, but somebody did, and it's available just to, if you Google it, it's a free download. You can see here I've searched for it and found, found it on uh, this uh, website to download. So once you come to this page, you simply download it as usual. Uh, and then you extract the, the file. Now, when you go to install this, the key step is to install it into your root folder of X-Plane 10 or 11. So you see here, I have it installed in my root folder. So you literally just choose your main folder. So no subfolder of X-Plane, just the main folder. And you install it inside X-Plane. So that's a key step. Now, once you've got that installed, you then will see this folder appearing automatically. So it's called mods. I think you can change the name if you want when you're installing, but you can leave it on mods or name it that, and it will create this folder inside your X-Plane 11 or 10 folder. Now, what you then need to do with the extracted winter package that we had here, you need to uh, copy it into the mods folder. So this mods folder essentially contains uh, all your mods and the winter package is the one that we're going to be using so you can see that it's the uh has the custom scenery inside and resources so that's all automatically inside it you just literally need to once you've extracted it copy it in here so then you've got it inside this mods folder now when you want to activate or deactivate winter textures you just click on the uh, application the executable for the for the mod application so I click yes and here I can see I already have it activated. So if I want to deactivate it, I just simply click on it and I can click Disable Selected Mod and it brings it back. It takes a couple of seconds and now it's disabled. Enable it, you just select the mod and bring it forward with this button here. And that's it. Then you just reload X-Plane 10 or 11. I'm running X-Plane 11 as you can see and then you have it. It's, it's a very straightforward and uh, most of all free. So that's it for now. I hope that video was useful. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up um, and leave any comments that you, uh, that you have in, in the comment section. 